Okay, folks, we are back, and better than ever is my mustache is coming in. We're coming on two months of unemployment. My morale is at an all-time low, and all I have left is movie reviews to bring to you folks that are watching free of charge. Tell your friends, like, and subscribe. Uh, today's film, I picked it up on VHS a couple of days ago. I remember this movie came out when I was nine years old. I had never even seen it then because my mom thought it was too weird. And I think parents at the time would have agreed because of it bombed at the box office. 1996, James and the Giant Peach, Walt Disney Studios presents. KNX AM 1070 said one of the most magical films of the decade. The classic Disney VHS box. Later VHS copy with a screen printed label instead of a paper label. I paid 50 cents for this movie. It's got a 79 minute runtime. It is directed by co Tim Burton collaborator Henry Selleck. And it is produced by Tim Burton. And this movie is heavily a Tim Burton movie of its time. The influence is palpable. It is a live action and claymation movie it was very expensive to make it cost 38 million dollars to make and it failed at the box office only making 37.7 million and again i posted about this and i said this is a really weird movie and i had a lot of other friends very polarizing movie i think this is would be called i had some friends agree with me saying this movie is weird other friends said this is a childhood favorite again i did not grow up watching this disney movie as a kid and I, I could not watch the whole film. I will be completely honest. I lost interest. It just wasn't for me. But critics loved this movie. It is a 91% Rotten Tomato score as a critic average. IMDb was more middle of the road, 6.9 out of 10. I think anything 7 out of 10 is high regarded for them. But I, I would say this is more a 3 out of 10 for IMDb. I am 2 out of 5. I just, it didn't draw me in. It didn't capture me like some of the other Disney movies. But again, I had a talk with my friend Jonathan about movies that you just grew up with and you probably just loved them. Like, he wanted my kids to watch the Three Ninjas movie. I put it on. They couldn't get into it. I remember white renting a movie, that movie on video cassette all the time when I was a kid. And to me, I love it. But for a modern audience, it just didn't appeal. Now, watching this with adult eyes for the first time. I liked the live action segments more than when it went into clay animation. It was just very odd. And I'm not really a fan of that style of Tim Burton animation from the time. This movie dated back all the way to the early 80s. Famed Disney animator guy that... Dang it, I didn't write his name down. This is how low budget these reviews are. There's a guy that was a Disney animator... And he died in 2005 in a car accident, tragically. And forgive me for not writing his name down. That's how bad I am. He had pitched this film to be made in the early 80s. And Disney agreed at the time that the subject matter was too weird and it would be too costly to make. I would like to see this redone. And I, it is an adaptation of a 1961 Roald Dahl book of the same name. Recently, and if you see on my old channel... I reviewed a bunch of them. Wes Anderson did a bunch of Roald Dahl adaptations. And I would love to see him do a take on this. I think that he could do this film justice. In 2016, Disney planned on making a remake at, of this as a live action film. Sam Mendes was attached to direct it. He fell out. He's not doing it. As of 2017, Robert Zemeckis is supposedly attached to remake this, supposedly attached to remake this film. I would be very interested to see what he does with this film. I just think the style of the animation, it just bothered me. It wasn't for me. And I apologize because of, I know people really like this film. Originally, Elvis Costello was going to do the soundtrack, but then Disney felt like he was a little too fringe, and they ended up going with Randy Newman, who was coinciding a year earlier with the soundtrack for Toy Story. So he did the soundtrack on this movie. It was a big risk for the studio, and it just, maybe it was a little too weird for people at the time. I don't know. I I like parts of it, and other parts I just found myself kind of not watching it till the end. I watched the majority of it. But again, I would like to see this done by somebody like Wes Anderson. 
I think that he could do it justice. I like Robert Zemeckis as a director as well. Obviously, Back to the Future is one of my favorite films of all time. But the whole Tim Burton vibe just wasn't really my jam. And in some parts, I do like Tim Burton. I really regarded my first watch of my old channel when I reviewed... Oh, gosh, what? My brain's just not working, folks. This is what happens when you've been unemployed for months. I loved his film that he's doing a remake on. Ah, the one with Michael Keaton. You know what I'm talking about. I liked that film quite a bit. And other films of his I really enjoyed. But I just, it this, him producing this movie and then the animation style for the claymation just didn't resonate with me. Again, I'm rambling. We're going to cut this review <coughs> off at this point. Siskel and Ebert did give it two thumbs up. Crucify me in the comments and let me know why I don't know what I'm talking about. Until next time, we'll see you then.